So on the inside of the timber frame, um, we're going to have a structural board called Finza Superpan Vapor Stop. This fulfills three requirements. It's a structural board, it's certified airtight, and it's vapor resistant. This is categorized as a P5 board, which means it's designed for use in moist conditions or humid conditions. It's equivalent in strength to an OSB3 in terms of use. Um, and it's going to be sealed at joints for air tightness. This, this board has a three ply con, uh, as configuration and the inside it is a particle board and on the outside and the other side of the panel it is a high density fibre and there's also an airtight um, coating applied on both sides. It's a certified passive house component. It's certified passive house A in terms of air tightness, so it reaches the highest possible levels that can be achieved for that test with the Passive House Institute. It also has um, the DOP mark and environmental product declaration cert is available for the board. Other benefits of the board are in terms of swelling. It swells by about 50% less compared to conventional OSB3. So this is a key benefit in this humid building site like we have today. It has the same shear strength, whether applied um, horizontally or vertically. So it doesn't lose any shear strength. Whereas compared to a conventional OSB3 board, when it's applied horizontally, its shear strength reduces by 50%. So this shows one of the main benefits of the Superpan Vapor Stop panel. In terms of cutting and machining, it's very easy to cut. It's very good screw holding capacity. And this is going to form the airtight layer for the inside of this uh, low energy build, building built on passive house principles. So you notice in the Finza boards, at the top level or in some other areas, these pre-drilled holes. These cores are drilled in the factory by the timber frame manufacturer, TimberTech Homes. And the principle of this is to allow the installer later to apply a hose into these holes and fill the timber frame panel with cellulose insulation. And then it's simply a matter of using a vana, a proclima vana patch, an airtight patch over them holes. So that then ensures you've got an airtight seal at that junction.